Yeah, tomorrow is our exam. I think all of you prepared well about of our uh, exam point of view. <clears throat> we don't worry about of our short answer questions and multiple choice questions on our funeral rock. Whatever notes I post it in our book cubes, you can read it and thoroughly. Uh, like of our exam, our questions like exam five, one or two questions you see. Read thoroughly the statements, then only you can answer to that one. Which of these characteristic in prokaryotics? You know prokaryotics and eukaryotic cells. The both are the contains their characters, you know well. One is absence of cell organelles. Okay, this statement is correct. And the absence of nucleus. This one is also correct. Maybe because it's direct DNA, absence of nucleus. And in presence of 7S ribosomes, 70, sorry, 70S ribosomes. 70S ribosomes is also contains, ribosomes is also contains. So, absence of cell organelles is correct. Nucleus is it's missing, is correct. Ribosomes also is contained. So, all these are correct. So, all the above statements in it's okay of our answer. Difference between these prokaryotics and eukaryotics. Is it have ribosomes? Yeah, both the cases. <coughs> ribosomes. <coughs> and cell wall. Cell wall is its both the cases cell wall. And DNA. Yes, both the cases DNA. And the next nuclear membrane. Nuclear membrane is its the difference. Nuclear membrane contains in eukaryotics. It's a non nucleus. So that is the reason why no nuclear membrane in prokaryotics. So I like this, the similarities between prokaryotics and eukaryotics, which will like this type of process uh, you can across in our exams. What it is, the both the cases, ribosomes itself contains, both the cases, cell wall, both prokaryotics and eukaryotics uh, have contains DNA, but the difference between the both is it's nuclear membrane nuclear membrane in eukaryotics and nucleus nucleus is absent in prokaryotics so that is the reason why nuclear membrane we can't expect this is a for answer
these are the questions will come in our exam first what i what i discuss you the first question the characteristic of prokaryotic cell exclusively some statements i given absence of cell organelles absence of nucleus yeah these two statements is is correct it show ribosomes is present so all all three three statements is correct like that next another thing also in the prokaryotic cells it shall contains of dna it have contains of the plasma it have contains <coughs> plasma membrane also only nucleus membrane is it differs so the rest of all it shall contains dense rigids in all dna is contains in prokaryotic plasma membrane is contains in prokaryotic cytoplasm is also contains in prokaryotic yeah like this type of uh, questions will appear on the topic of prokaryotic and eukaryotic point of view next our classification point of view we have three domains and six kingdoms seven steps in classification in three domains is again eukarya archaea and protista eukarya archaea and bacteria archaea and the bacteria especially in in our uh, prokaryotics is comes under the bacteria and uh, archaea this is a, a classification topic point of view this type of question will come read thoroughly that ppt classification also one or two questions will come next in uh, uh, classification I, i given is kingdom phylum the genus species and all these are which one is the smallest one in the taxonomy the family genus and species the species is the smallest one species species upper than genus genus upper than the family so in that particular order you remember next uh, the plants point of view um, you know autotrophs autotrophs uh, is in a photosynthesis takes place chloroplast chlorophylls the cell organelles is contains in which cells all are in autotrophs have contains the phototrophs is nothing but of plant cells plant containing of photo phototrophic cells why because it's self made they prepare their food is in one next is uh, saprophytes the saprophytes is example phase animal plant the yeah, fungi and bacteria uh, but you know, fungus is uh, for comes under saprophytes 
or because dead leaves and dead the plant body it can grows. Oh, like we, we see all these are uh, types of several persons, the carbon and energy the cycle also. So many persons will appear and the definition of biology, definition you learn about what is bio, what is biology, the study of life and uh, prokaryotics, eukaryotics, definitions and uh, differences. Whenever you may know about the difference, then definitely uh, either in a theory question or in a short, uh, short answer question or in multiple choice questions, you can uh, definitely answer to that. So you must and should learn about differences between prokaryotic cells and eukaryotic cells. And uh, autotrophs and uh, heterotrophs. And plant point of view, all are photosynthesis. Photosynthesized one is autotrophs. And heterotrophs is dependers. So primary consumers, secondary consumers, tertiary consumers. And this heterotrophs is again herbivores and carnivores. That is the next extent, but the major uh, difference between autotrophs and heterotrophs <clears throat> and their examples. You, you remember to that one. Next, uh, unicellular, multicellular, sexual reproduction, asexual reproduction. The best example of multicellular organisms all mammals like elephant is multicellular. The unicellular one is bacteria, which is a unicellular, unicellular one. In one cell, all the functions, all metabolic activities is takes place. Yeah, autotrophs and the chemotrophs, phototrophs and chemotrophs, the differences. Phototrophs is totally depends on carbon dioxide, of inorganic carbon dioxide, and chemotrophs is totally organic. Organic carbon. Organic carbon is a major source of the preparation of the in the food, the carbon. Based food. These are all, all differences you may uh, learn thoroughly and definitely the short answer you can answer. Yeah, anyhow, this is of our day of short answer questions, right? The main thing here, and especially in our classification point of view, all of you remember, thoroughly by heart and practice to that one. In our first unit <coughs> exam is, the major is the cell, the classification. Okay. Next up our uh, uh, the second unit. <clears throat> Thank you.
Yeah, before goes to the second unit, second unit is in water. Okay, we will just see later on. Or the lab point of your nitrogen, nitrogen cycle. The nitrogen the cycle already, I think you aware of to this. Anyhow, we will see. See all of you identify this nitrogen cycle. How it is the ammonia, that is a fixation. A particular bacteria in what place nitrogen fixating in bacteria. How it is useful to both in the human, human activities and at the same time the natural activities through nitrogen cycle is continuously the way you identify. Nitrogen cycle. Well, many times, it's so embarrassing for some people to let one in class, so they hold them in, and they. But the thing is, our farts contain a very important part.